Good morning, everyone. Welcome to, I don't actually know what this is gonna be. I was tempted, whoa. I was tempted to do Vlogmas and then all of a sudden, Oscar, can you stop walking? Yeah, I was tempted to do Vlogmas and then all of a sudden it was December and I was like, what the hell? And I was so busy on the days like coming up to December that I just didn't have any time to like plan what I was gonna do for Vlogmas. And then obviously we had the Fiori Fi on Saturday, which was the third. Um, and I have got a vlog from that, so you will have seen that already. Um, so I think that's just gonna be like the start of my Vlogmas, I guess. So I still don't know whether I'm gonna do like every other day or daily or weekly, but it's the 5th of December now. And it's a Monday, so we're going to start as we mean to go on and hopefully do, maybe it'll be a mix up because I don't know what I've got on this December to be honest and I do want to get stuff done, um, like Christmassy stuff and do like nice things that are all like Christmassy but I am in the process of moving out and trying to find somewhere to live so all my attention is like on finding somewhere to live right now and saving for like everything I'm gonna need like furniture so I'm kind of I've had like a boring couple of months to be honest um so yeah I will try and make these interesting as possible I'm trying to like make YouTube my focus at the moment because if you didn't already know I got hacked on Instagram <laughs> but I'm holding some bread I need to put it down <laughs> Yeah, if you didn't already know, I got hacked on Instagram and they deleted my account at, I think I was at like 36,000 followers and I have spent like the last five years building that up, which is, for anyone that's like not, doesn't work through Instagram, it's just like, okay, it's just Instagram um, and it's going to sound really stupid, but I get a lot of my work through Instagram. I've got every single job that I've ever done through Instagram um, up until like TikTok started to be big. So it's really crap that I've not been able to use that, especially for like the Fiori and stuff. But it's been nice to have a break, to be honest. It's been nice not to be on Instagram. So I have made a backup account. If you do want to follow it, I will put it down here somewhere. Um, and yeah, I'm going to use that for now. Hopefully I will get it back. I have got a few people that are on it trying to get it back for me. But if I don't, this is my new one. And <laughs> yeah. Right now I'm going to make some breakfast because it's getting like near to the afternoon and I've just been sat doing emails and what's wrong? Oscar's crying. Yeah, I've been sat doing emails and sending invoices and stuff and I still haven't eaten and I'm starving. I was actually starving last night. Um, what, you know when you, like, you go to sleep and you just... Basically I came back from London and... I had barely eaten, I'd like gone to, I don't know what I'm saying. I usually um, drive down to London when we have the box in. Every weekend that we do it in London, I drive. But my car has been in the garage for seven weeks now. It's actually beyond a joke. I, um, obviously it's my fault. I crashed into a bollard coming out of a car park and it did more damage than I thought it had done, basically. <laughs> um, and I've had to pay a hell of a lot of money to get it fixed and it's they've been struggling to get parts for it because apparently there's like a shortage on parts everywhere um so it's been in the garage for seven weeks and it's just taking the mic so i got the train down for the fiori fight and, and it was just really it was a, it was a day where all the strikes were on as well so it was just hell we had to get like four different trains there and back um so yesterday i got home and obviously we've been working that before and i was just exhausted i slept from like three till eight and then I was up till like one and then I slept and I even managed to sleep in as well. I don't know how I did it. So yeah, I slept like a lot of the day, but I had like a, um, I went to Ellen Cafe in London, I was at the train station and I had like a croissant with like salmon and cream cheese and then got the trains home, got home, had a shower, literally fell asleep for like four hours. Um, and then woke up and was absolutely starving. So I obviously not eating for like 10 hours. <laughs> so, um, I was going to order something, but I ended up just eating some like pasta. But I obviously didn't eat much yesterday, so now I'm starving. So I'm going to have some more white on toast. I feel like it's the 1st of December today. I don't know if it's because it's like a Monday. And 
mum put the trees up last night i was gonna help her but i was just exhausted like i was just not in the mood to like decorate the house for christmas so yeah it feels a little bit more festive today it feels like the first of december so yeah i'm gonna go through my advent calendars as well because i have opened the first four i've got the fifth to open today i've got a chocolate one and i've got um the plt beauty advent calendar so i'm gonna do that as well oh my god the toast is burnt distracted anyway i'm gonna make this and then eat it <laughs> i'll chat to you again okay it's about half an hour later i've had some toast and i might have had a little chocolate millionaire shortbread as well because I was feeling the sugar today, I needed a bit of sugar. I've basically as well, if you didn't know, hang on, let me set you up. Okay, I couldn't set you up. But yeah, if you didn't know, I actually cut out coffee either four, no, five weeks ago now. And I haven't had any coffee at all. I actually feel so much better, like, in myself in general. I was really, really struggling with anxiety. Like, really bad. I'd not struggled for a little while. Um... And for about four months straight, every single morning when I was waking up, I had this really big anxious chest that I just couldn't shake. Um, couldn't get rid of it. It did pass like throughout the day, but then like every single morning waking up with like basically the fear. I don't even know what it was, but I thought, right, I need to get a grip of this and stop drinking coffee to see if that would work. And it has kind of worked. Like I probably have like one morning a week where I'm like... <gasps> I wake up with like a really bad anxious chest but I think it's just because I've got like a lot going on and I'm working really hard and all this jazz so yeah coffee's really helped but today was the first day where I've been like apart from the first week the first week was hell I got really bad migraines um and withdrawal like symptoms from coffee so <laughs> apart from that this has been the first day where I've been like oh my god I need a coffee um, and I've not got any tea either, which has been really keeping me going. I've managed to be still drinking tea, but not have that anxious feeling. So, yeah, today's the first day where I've not had tea or coffee. And I'm feeling it. If anyone's wondering what I actually do in the week, I basically make content for brands to use on their social media. So, I don't post it myself on my social media. I, Which is kind of why I've been okay with losing my Instagram, because I've not had to post anything in particular um but yeah i make content for brands to post on their social media so that's what i do in the week and i have my own like tiktok to kind of like promote my business through that um so i've just remembered that i needed to post a an example of what i'd done for a brand recently so that other brands can see it and possibly book me to do their content if that makes sense so Sorry, my camera died, but this is basically one of my examples. Um, it's like a L perfume sent me like three perfumes, and then I've one sec. Sorry, my brother rang me, <laughs> um, but yeah, this is one of my examples. I've done like an outfit for each perfume, like Christmas edition. <laughs> um, but yeah, right now I'm gonna go in the shower because it's two o'clock. And all I've done is sat and work in my pyjamas and I actually need to do some like content stuff. I am just out here living my soft girl life to be honest because <laughs> everything that's rushed makes me anxious. So I'm just going with the flow but still being productive. Guys, I think I've broke my camera. Hello. Oh no. It won't focus at all oh what am i gonna do my redness is back nothing is working let's just ignore it i look like shit i don't care anyway we're gonna do my advent calendars but first i'm gonna show you what i got for the first four days from my pretty little thing one and i'm gonna open number five of my chocolate I love white chocolate. There's nothing better than white chocolate. Where's number five? It's a little. Is that a crown? Or houses? I don't know. I don't know. Master Stretch bought me this one. How cute is that? Anyway, I've got the pu the Pretty Little Thing Beauty Advent Calendar, and in day one, I got a Peaches and Cream lip liner, which I think is insane. It's a proper nice colour as well. It's in praline. Praline, whatever you want to call it. 
really really nice and then day two was a set of lashes that are somewhere I don't know where I've put them um but yeah that was day two was a pair of lashes day three was a little mini Olaplex number three which is I think the number three is I don't actually know how you use it use before shampooing okay so it's a bond builder so yeah that's really cute love that never used it so I'm excited to try that and then day four was this little like I think it's a um, bath salts but it's from aroma active and it's the sleep salt soap so it's for anyone who struggles to fall asleep I'm so excited to use these I cannot wait how cute is that though I love that it's open day number five so this is it it's flipping huge I love it very pink I'm gonna try to open the inside of it but they're all like they're all boxes so I don't really know the best way to open it because they all keep falling out right number five. Oh, number five five's a really thin one <laughs> I bet one of them's got like a mini perfume in because it smells really good a loose pigment from sleek oh my god that looks so nice I feel like I'm the only adult that actually doesn't get tempted to open all of my advent calendars in one go even like my mum was saying that she's got friends that they've opened all their like big beauty advent calendars already and I'm like what is the point like the fun of it is not knowing and then getting a little present every day and I've got a shoot tomorrow I've just got an email from my agent he says I've been booked for a shoot tomorrow so I need to get sorted for that I'm gonna wash my hair um, fix my nail sort my toenails out all that jazz and yeah so that'll be a good one I might do a daily vlog tomorrow as well okay I didn't end up filming much on my shoot day but I hopped on the train in the morning to Stockport grabbed a cup of tea and I was shooting some like golf event stuff on this day but I ended up getting a really early finish which was amazing I finished like two two hours early than I thought I would so I hopped on the train home and there was someone that smelt so so bad I don't know why people just don't know what deodorant is good morning everyone it is the next day now and last night I went shopping for my dad and my sister didn't film much but um, I did post a video of what we get from Wonka Mamas on our sister channel so if you don't follow them I'll put it down here on TikTok um, hi everyone I'm on TikTok live at the moment everyone say hi to the vlog but yeah this uh, what date is it today guys? 7th is it 7th? I don't know my camera will not focus I need a new camera desperately but today is just a day of work. I've got to edit my Fiori vlog and I've got three videos to film and edit with a brand. So I don't know how much you'll see today but I will kind of take you along in the day of the life of me working from home. And hopefully it will be boring. Right, so I've just got ready on TikTok Live. Very basic makeup today because I'm filming for some a gym wear brand. They want three videos so I've got to do the content for them. This is like, I'll show you like what I do. Usually they give me like creative freedom or they send me like a little brief. But this is the first time that someone said like, can you give us some ideas and we'll like approve them. So I've had to like write them down. Um, so this is what I'm working on so far. I always do like video one and then what style of video it is. And then a link to the example and then some different hooks that they might like. But yeah, that's what I'm doing today and it's for a gym brand. So I have three different, four different gym sets, I think. Um, I'm going to do different videos for them. And then I'm going to edit all day. Like, I'm going to edit so much. And I woke up late today and I shouldn't have, but I was so exhausted. I literally couldn't open my eyes at 8 o'clock. So, yeah, we're behind already. So yeah, basically what I do is I go through the video ideas that I have had approved from the brand and I work out which one is going to be easiest to do first, what order is best to do them in, please excuse the state of my MacBook. <laughs> I film everything on my camera and then, on my camera, on my phone camera, and then edit it all and make it look tiktok -y. The fit, sorry if you can't see very well, the sun is blinding today, we've got some pink leggings, some blue leggings and these have got scrunch bomb which is so cute and then we've got these like ombre effect ones um 
blue and purple and purple and pink. These aren't my style, but um, they're cute. And so yeah, they sent me all bottoms, so I just need to figure out what tops I can put with them. Hi guys. Oh my god, why can't I keep camp still? Shake. This is me. This is the setup. Okay, I've done filming. I'm absolutely starving, so I'm gonna have some lunch and then I'm gonna edit for the rest of the day. Um, I've got a new hard drive, thank God. So basically my other hard drive that has my whole life on it has crashed and I don't know how to get anything off it. So if anyone has any ideas, please let me know. Um, but yeah, I bought a new one so that I can actually run iMovie and stuff on my laptop because this MacBook has just got no storage whatsoever. I can't even run iMovie on it or export videos from it, so yeah, I've bought a new one and hopefully I can get loads of editing done today and be caught up with everything. I'm just going to go get some lunch. I don't know what to have. I haven't really got anything left in the cupboards. Oh my god, I've literally been editing all day. It's pitch black outside now. Um, really, really struggling to be honest. You've seen the state of my MacBook, but as well as that, it's so low on storage that basically, I'm going to break it down for you. So, my hard drive that I've always had with my MacBook because it has no storage has all of a sudden crashed and it has my whole life on it and I don't know how to get anything off it. But also, that means that I can't use iMovie on my laptop because iMovie is on my hard drive because my MacBook has no space to store it. So, I've had to buy a new hard drive. But obviously that hasn't got iMovie on it. So I've just gone onto my MacBook to try and download iMovie again to put it on my hard drive and to save space. And I can't download the new iMovie without updating my MacBook. So I've just gone to update my MacBook and I have no storage to update the MacBook. So I've been like going around in circles with it all day. I've tried to like completely clear my MacBook but there's still not enough space and it's got nothing on it. Like it's got the app that it came with and that is it. Um, so I'm really struggling but I'm hoping that it just needs a minute to like, I've reset it, so it might need just a minute to like realise that it has got storage. Um, and then we'll hopefully be able to update it and then download iMovie and then edit my YouTube videos. Because all I've done so far today is film and edit my videos for brands on my phone and I've not been able to edit anything on my laptop. So yeah, whilst that is sorting itself out, I'm going to go over my advent calendars for today. This is a very weird lighting, but hey ho, here we are. Number seven, where you at, honey? Right up here. It's a Christmas button. This one. Wait, is that seven or is that one? It's seven. <gasps> Cute! I've been wanting some of these for ages. That's such a treat. Also, this is the Christmas tree. It's massive. I love it. It's all red and white and snowy. There's one in here as well, but it's very dark. Ta -da! These are all the things that were on my tree i had a black halloween tree and then decorated it with like silver stuff when it got to christmas it's so cute some of it's my arms and some of it's mine but i love it there's a huge like fake diamond ring somewhere i don't know where it is or did that break last year i can't remember this one's cute little martini glass and then there's like 10 of these unicorns. I got these from B&M. And then I actually got like a big pack of just like silver and white baubles from B&M as well. But yeah, most of this is from B&M. And I think it's amazing. I actually hate tinsel, but mum's put some on this year for the first time ever. I'm trying to find the ring. It's really, oh, it's there. We have like an extra set of lights on top, but it's just this bit. How cute are these as well? Up there and up there. Oh, 
Guys, I'm going to bed. I'm tired. I'm frustrated. I'm aggravated by this one client that is really annoying me. Anyway, that is week one done of Vlogmas. So, I'll see you next week for another one. Bye.